because you can never tell Frankie Edgar there's something he can't do. It's about 10 years ago he won the UFC lightweight championship in Abu Dhabi. Truly one of the fighters that embraced fighting at his natural weight before it was in vogue. The answer, Frankie Edgar back in yet another big UFC spot here tonight. Here's the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Dominic Cruz. I feel like it's kind of unfair that he's not here to defend himself <laughs> against you as he's making this walk, but ubiquitously regarded DC as the best Bantamweight of all time. I love that word, ubiquitously, or whatever. I don't you know how it. to say it. it. It's beautiful, but if you're going to talk about someone and use that word, it needs to be Dominic Cruz because he really is one of the greatest fighters this division has ever seen, one of the smartest guys that I've ever been around. He fights with me constantly at the commentary table. He does. But I love it because I feel like it brings out the most in both of us. And when Dominic Cruz is challenged, he always steps up. That's why he's been so successful in his mixed martial arts career. We talk a lot about the footwork, the cardio, the striking. But one thing Dominic will tell you, if he needs to take a beating and lean on that heart and that toughness, he is more than willing to do so. Good to see Dom Cruz back on the proving ground here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Frankie. The answer, Edgar. And now we can see the champion fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, the bending. Champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Boy, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Big shot to the head. Push kick there to the body. Edgar gets hit by another front kick. That one was devastating. Able to block that one. All right, so a little bit of a pedestrian start to this fight about a minute in. Not much action on either side. Is that a feeling out process? What do you see? John, you just woke me up. <laughs> it's boring in here. Come on, get to work. Press the button. All those buttons. Bang on them and start creating some action. Oh, nice. Throws a big right hand but doesn't find its home. combination of strikes there by Edgar. Oh, oh he might get finished here. It's okay. oh. Keep going. Keep going. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Man, has that string been tested early. Slips the punch. 
Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. He missed with that jab attempt there. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, there it is. Another hook connects. Beautiful high kick there. Follows it up with a nice combination. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh. One shot for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two is here. Dominic Cruz Ready versus Frank Ready. Yen. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch in his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in a zone. Everything he threw was just landing and landing with vicious intent. He's got to feel confident as he gets off the stool for the beginning of this round. Big kick lands. Nice shot inside by the champion. Checks that leg kick. Wear your hands. Slips the left hand. Whiffs on the right hand. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes. And now landed for the all-time great Dominic Cruz. And landed with 29. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Well, missed on that one. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, look at that leg kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. A uh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. I want to see those takedowns. Slips to avoid the right. Just missed with the left there. Oh, misses with the jab. Slips that left hand. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's move. Looking to land the right just out of range. Unable to connect with the right. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Good 
get that clinch down. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Third Go round on. underway. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, big Superman punch there! Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Superman punch lands! Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. These are... Land right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Three minutes. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Well placed kick there by Dominic Cruz. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Great punch. Edgar's left calf does not look good. You see the welt, you see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Nice defense there, huge block. Good jab. Oh, he's landed the high number. Oh! Nice shot there by the champ. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at he hurt him again, bro. Now he's back up. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, there's the end of the round. What a fight we've got, man. I mean, multiple knockdowns. And how about the beard on that one fight, huh? How, how is he even still standing? I don't know. How is he still standing? How is he still eating these strikes like Skittles? I mean, this dude should be out. Most people in the world would be done. But he continues to press forward and continues to fight. It is unreal to witness. You ready to fight? You ready? Fourth yeah. round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Head kick is blocked. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Edgar. Oh, nice hook. 
Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful uppercut there. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. And you can see his confidence in his posture. Back to his feet. And just misses with that big right hand. Lands a nasty body kick. He's able to slip the left leg. Oh! Heard him again. Unable to land with that punch. Trading huge shots. Let's see. Oh, oh man, he's hurt. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by... Oh! That will do it! Oh, my God! The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic the Dominic. All right, so I guess now Takeya Mizugaki is not the only one, right? Of course, I say that tongue-in-cheek, but Dominic Cruz, dominant tonight, and he gets it done by way of the KO. And Dominic Cruz, as he's aged, has gotten more willing to engage. And tonight it showed that if he lands, he can put your lights out. Congrats to the Dominator.